So does it mean that uh, Tesla is still the rabbit that everybody chases uh, because of their cost advantage, because of the money they save on things like marketing and dealer networks? Yeah, I think uh, Tesla is still the benchmark here in the EV market. I think, you know, one of their very smart moves that they made early on was to go for pretty much almost full vertical integration where they can control. They're the master of their own destiny of costs. Uh, literally, and a lot of the uh, large amounts of uh, value of the material that goes into their products. When you combine that with uh, their brand, which is held in high regard, they're our first mover, uh, they tend to get a price premium, uh, they continue to be in the lead. Tesla stock recently dropped 6% in one single day, despite two price target updates. Although it's unclear why Tesla stock was down so much, it is certainly not because of the markets. Tesla ended the year 2022 on a bump after its shares fell to the lowest in two years, beating Meta to become the worst performing stock in 2022 of the most valuable tech companies. This came after Elon Musk sold off about $23 billion worth of Tesla stock to finance his Twitter purchase and faced investor backlash for spending too much time on the social media company. However, just three months into this year, Tesla was already the best performing S&P 500 stock year to date. And so far, the stock has been performing well, although there have been a few drops in the past few weeks. Following the recent performance of Tesla stock, many analysts have raised their price targets, suggesting that brighter days may be on the horizon for Tesla and its investors. Discover why analysts are so optimistic and what they anticipate in the coming weeks. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Leading investment management firm Goldman Sachs recently raised its price target on Tesla from $200 to $225. Goldman Sachs analysis Mark Delaney also maintained a buy rating on the stock. Similar Deutsche Bank analysis Emmanuel Rosner reiterated Tesla with a buy and maintained a $250 price target. The average analysis target price for Tesla over the next 12 months is around $223.20. The average analysis rating is a buy, and most analysis of Tesla have been rather bullish. Tesla's stock price is currently above the $200 threshold and has increased by 8.95% over the past week and 8.67% over the past month. How has Tesla stock managing to perform like this and how is it going to perform in the next few months and what do these analysis think of Tesla? Keep watching to find out. But before we get into it, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications to keep up to date on everything happening with Tesla. Tesla has a high market capitalization and is among the top quartile in its sector, making it more stable. It has delivered superior risk adjustment returns, return on equity, return on investment capital, and return on assets compared to its peers. The company has low debt, positive cash flow, positive free cash flow, and has shown superior earnings and revenue growth in the previous five years. It also has a high gross profit to asset ratio, indicating superior returns in the long run. Global EV deliveries from BYD shrunk, while that of Tesla increased. Although a lot of people talk about Tesla's competition, it is important to note that Tesla is not the only one with the competition. Tesla recently released its first quarter delivery numbers, and there were no major surprises, although some analysis claimed that the Model S and X missed consensus. Even though these two models are just a part of Tesla's car business, some analysis think that is not important for Tesla to get its delivery numbers right as fast as it can. Tesla deliveries hit a record in the first quarter, but the electric vehicle giant fell short of estimates again. Analysis predicted that Tesla will continue to face pressure, pricing pressure, in Q2. The car company delivered 6% more of its mainstay Model 3 and Model Y vehicles in the first three months of this year than in the previous quarter, but the number of deliveries for its higher-priced Model X and Model S vehicles slumped by 38%. Tesla produced more cars than it delivered, manufacturing 440,808 vehicles for the first three months of this year. According to TD Cohen, excess production was due to more vehicles in transit, and then weakness in Model S and X was also attributed to cars being in transit. 
Although the firm didn't say anything positive about Tesla, they still increased their price target. When we have supposedly bad news and analysis are increasing price targets, you know we have a good stock here. Since most analysis are not convinced that Tesla's price cut is actually for a good cause, then the debate between price history and general demand weakness will persist as production keeps outpacing deliveries. Tesla's recent price cuts have inevitably put pressure on competing automakers that produce more affordable electric vehicles, despite the ever-increasing commodity costs, creating problems for used vehicle sellers and, more importantly, has Wall Street concerned about a mega pricing war among manufacturers. There is no denying that the slash in prices has made even ICE models comparatively expensive, and even EV makers are going to struggle to meet up with sales target. There are plenty of EVs out there, and the number only keeps growing. Tesla's biggest competitors have been BYD, Ford, General Motors, and Volkswagen. Smaller startups are also beginning to find their way into the market. However, these Tesla competitors are going to struggle for a while now, thanks to the latest price cut. The EV market is quite volatile right now, and Tesla has the power to bend it at will. Little wonder Kathy Wood has been reducing her other positions, but is still keeping Tesla. Although she recently reduced her Tesla shares, according to the Tesla investor, this was so the stock could be within 10% of her portfolio, as she is a fund manager. After Woods sold her Tesla share, many claim that she did not have to sell the shares. Although she cannot buy more once the stock reaches 10%, she didn't really have to sell it. The price war started by Tesla has made it much more difficult for US startups like Rivian Automotive and Lucid Group to grab market share in an industry competing for sales. Some startups may not be able to afford lower prices as they struggle with staggering raw material and production costs combined with far lower output than Tesla, which delivered more than 1.3 million vehicles last year, and is still set up to deliver up to 2 million vehicles this year. Tesla is doing a lot to see its production rate go up. The automaker's Gigafactory in Berlin will reportedly soon expand to a permanent fourth production line, and then shift to increase production output. Tesla wants to roll out 500,000 cars per year, producing up to about 10,000 per week. Therefore, it could be a bit awkward to presume that Tesla is indeed having a huge demand issue, since they are expanding their production. Some analysis believes that one of the reasons why Tesla stock is down so much is because short-term traders brought Tesla stock, and they were going to sell stock for the short term. Another big reason why Tesla stock could have dropped is because the retail Tesla stock investors were expecting a higher number of Tesla deliveries, even though these numbers beat several consensuses. And so, since many of these investors have started selling off some of their shares, they could have had some impact on Tesla stock as well. Increasing inventories is what worries investors a little bit more. Most of these analyses see the inventory increase and decrease several times, and many of them start to pull away once things go south. According to Tesla bull Ross Gerber, Tesla shareholders will have to accept the new paradigm soon as lots of new changes which the company faces are finally catching up to them. He added that there is legitimate competition, and it is becoming real. A lot of analysis only think about this in the short term. They invest with basically a one-year horizon, and they can trade out of these positions at any time. Investors who trade short-term usually pay attention to inventory levels, but for long-term investors, this shouldn't be an issue. The only concern should be about Tesla's next-generation vehicle, its full self-driving software, and its energy storage. In recent news, Tesla released a new charging system called the CyberVault. According to Tesla, the CyberVault is a single-phase 220-volt charging device, capable and compatible with charging all Tesla models, and the corresponding charging performance is about 32 amps, 7 kilowatts. The charger weighs 13 kilos, and it's capable of running a cable about 6 meters long. 
This device also comes with installation included and supports plug and play charging, scheduled charging or departure on time, and other charging experiences. The interesting thing is, this device has a pretty good value and is priced at an equivalent of roughly $800. At this price, Tesla will once again make extra income on its car sales aside from FSD. This is a reminder that Tesla does not really need to grow 50% year over year to achieve high market capitalization in the next few years. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know down below. And don't forget to tell us what your valuation of Tesla is. And if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there.